Good morning, everyone. This is so exciting to be here. It's, uh, it's amazing to see some familiar faces and some new faces around the tables here, and I'm excited to get to know you all today. Um, as you know, this is a really important event hosted by PolicyWise, and today we're here to address a pressing issue that affects all of us. That's the employment gender gap in Alberta and the need for sustainable community-driven solutions. Alberta women deserve equitable opportunities to thrive in the workforce, and we believe that community social profit organizations play a crucial role in supporting their participation in paid work. These organizations build connections and weave a community where women and families can flourish. I want to begin by sharing a personal story from my own experience, highlighting how, a connection, how connection within community and across sectors can spark action. As many of you know, 2020 was a transformative year that ignited a global movement around racial equity. That, at that time, my husband, a Nigerian immigrant, and I witnessed discussions and actions taking place, and we felt compelled to go beyond social media posts and actively contribute to creating change in our community. Together with two four close friends, we founded the REIT Institute, which is a nonprofit organization that focuses on teaching BIPOC youth financial literacy using commercial real estate as a vehicle. We were amazed by the immediate positive response that we had from industry leaders across our province. Companies like Cushman and Wakefield, Altus Group, One Properties, and many others stepped up and eagerly joined our cause. With their support, we developed an eight week curriculum that included online learning, in-person in workshops, mentorship from industry leaders and university students, as well as a pitch competition uh, that they uh, came together in, group, or in teams to pitch on a property to a group of industry judges on why they should invest in their property for the chance to win a $10,000 scholarship. The program is fully funded by industry partners and the Alberta Real Estate Foundation. Through connections within churches, schools, and other community-based organizations, we were able to recruit our first cohort in the spring of 2022, and actually did our second cohort last year uh, at this time. And when we saw the excitement and eagerness from the scholars and industry, we were really uh, empowered to expand beyond just here in Edmonton. And I'm really proud to say that we'll be running cohorts in both Edmonton and Calgary uh, in January, which are nearly full, but if you know anyone that's interested, please share the information. Um, additionally, we're currently working on an app to be able to deliver our program into rural and remote communities, and I'm super excited about the fact that Fort Mackay First Nation has signed up as an early adopter, and that this can really help to demonstrate the potential for our program to make a difference in First Nations communities as well. This experience has reinforced the power of connecting across sectors, and and really for us, that uh, ability to partner with industry as well. I think so often we think about the nonprofit sector and government, but we don't always bring industry to the table to be equal partners in that, and I think there's a huge opportunity there. We know that when we come together, we can truly make a difference and drive positive change. So today our focus is twofold. First, we celebrate the incredible work of community social profit organizations and re recognize the energy and diversity that women bring to Alberta's economy. Second, we aim to bring people from various sectors together to build connections and drive positive change. We hope that uh, you spend the day uh, developing tangible program and policy solutions that enhance the ecosystem in which women and the organizations supporting them can thrive and pursue so that they can pursue employment and entrepreneurial goals. Over the past two years, PolicyWise has been diligently studying the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic and its economic fallout on women's opportunities in the workplace and to run businesses. We have learned that well-intended supports and programs may work for some, but not for all. This is where the knowledge and expertise of community organizations become invaluable in creating solutions that truly work. We've also recognized the importance of making connections. These connections foster a sense of belonging and support within community, facilitate collaboration between community organizations and employers, and bridge the gap between government and community. When connections are made, understanding expands and the stories change. Community organizations possess the understanding, stories, relationships, and agility needed to develop solutions to to respond to emerging challenges and to empower women in our communities. When these organizations are well supported, 
they can do their best work enabling women to thrive. Today we want to use this space to create connections amongst all of you, frontline service providers, representatives from the financial sector, and policymakers. We encourage you to engage in conversations, to build relationships, and contemplate the next steps that we can take together to create a strong connection and drive meaningful change in our community. PolicyWise for Children and Families is committed to enhancing practices and policies that support the health and well-being of children, youth, families, and communities. We collaborate with various partners, including Indigenous communities, social profit organizations, academia, and all levels of government, to ensure that this work is both inclusive and impactful. Through collaboration, we bridge the gap between lived experience, research, policy, and practice. Together, we can make wise decisions and take innovative actions that are accountable to community and to our partners. So thank you for being here today. Let's make the most of the, this opportunity and create lasting connections that develop solutions that will empower women and transform our communities for the better. Thank you.